Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, guys, I want to do a tier list going over all the clubs that participate this season's Europa League. So we have 40 clubs, guys. We have 32 teams that dropped, uh, 32 teams that started from the group stage, eight teams that dropped down from the Champions League. And we're going to go ahead and do this go. If you guys want to do this, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to try this out. And yeah, like I so said, guys, I'm going to keep this short and concise because we have 40 teams to go through. So I'm hoping to get this done within 20 to 30 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's just go over the tiers real quickly. So we have S is like the best. A is like great. B is like good. C is like average. D is like bad. And F is like failure. So uh, I'm going to go from like top to bottom. I think that makes the most sense. And I think it's only right we start with Atalanta. Atalanta for me, they got to be an S. I mean, the, the way they were able to win this final with ease was incredible. And they just dominated every opponent they played against. Like, you know, they dominated Liverpool. They dominated Marseille. They dominated Sporting. You know, they topped the group as well, undefeated. And they only lost one game this season, which was against Liverpool at home. And pretty much it was like a dead rock. Pretty much they were 3-0 up for the first leg. So this is probably one of the most dominant Europa League wins I've seen in a long time. So for, for Atalanta, man, it's definitely an S, without a doubt. Leverkusen, for me, is, that, is probably A. You know, they still did well in the knockout stage. You know, defeat a quarterback. Defeat a West Ham, defeat a Roma. And sure, you could say they did require some late goals, but ultimately, they still played better than those teams for like most of the time. Most of the time, most of the, most of the, most of the time. And I think they were better. So yeah, yeah, the final performance was a bit disappointing. They could have done better in the final, but before the final, they were amazing. They were amazing. So there's a reason why they went undefeated. So yeah, uh, Marseille for me. I'm sorry, Marseille was very inconsistent. I, I know they made the semifinals and it's great and all, but if you actually look down their opponents they played against, they were not that convincing. They 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 had to play against Shakhtar Donetsk, which is a team they should be beating. And then the round of 16 defeated Villarreal, and then the quarterfinals defeated Benfica just about on pens. Either when it came time for a team that's actually really good quality, they got absolutely smashed. So I'm sorry to say for Marseille, I'm going to put them in B. Um, it's kind of like a benefit. I'm, I'm giving the benefit of the doubt for a B because it's like a low B ish. Honestly, I was tempted to put C, but I think C is really hard, so I didn't want to put C. So I, I decided to give a B. Uh, and then obviously for Roma, Roma is definitely an A. I mean, what they did in the knockout stage was f f phenomenal. Sure, I could maybe be a critique of the group stage, but ultimately I'm valuing the knockout stage more. The knockout stage is really what's more important than the group stage at the end of the day. So for Roma, I'm gonna put them at A. Maybe if I if maybe if I include the group stage, I'll give it like a low A-ish. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll put them A. Next up, it is um uh West Ham. I think West Ham is like an A. They were pretty good. You know, they topped the group and then they just smashed Freiburg and then they gave a good game against the Leverkusen. So yeah, I think West Ham for me is an A. Um next up is Benfica. Uh, Benfica for me were mid, honestly. They were not that convinced in the Europa League knockout stage. They struggled to beat Rangers. They struggled to beat uh, Toulouse. And yeah, they just about did the bare minimum. And then they lost against Marseille and uh, and on Penn. So yeah, for Benfica, as I said, I, I'm going to put them in C. Uh, very unconvincing. Um, next up, it is um, Liverpool. Okay, so now for Liverpool, how do I judge Liverpool? Because the thing is, Liverpool, for me, they were the favorites. They were the strongest team, highest-ranked team in the Europa League. And the fact that Liverpool went out in the quarterfinals is a bit disappointing. And remember, if they had made this, if they had beaten Atalanta, they would have had to play against Marseille, which they probably would be lacking their chances. And then they could have potentially played against Leverkusen. Now, it's not a guarantee they win the final, of course, but there's a great chance for them to be in a final. So I'm sorry for Liverpool, man. Yes, they did well on the round of 16 against Farah Pra. Yes, they did well in the group stage, chopping the group. But ultimately, against Atalanta, they were really bad. Really bad. So for a Liverpool, man, I know this might seem very harsh. Uh, I'm putting them in C. I'm putting them in C. I feel like they should have done better. Their, the expectations were there. And yeah, for Liverpool, I'm sorry. It's a C. It's a C in my opinion. Next up it is Milan. Milan, very, very uh, underwhelming. Yes, I know they defeated Slavia Pra with ease. And I know they got past Rennes, but honestly, Milan just looked terrible against Roma. They were so bad, really, really bad against Roma. And and this is like a Serie A team that you have gotten the double over. Remember, before that game took place, they did a double over Roma, uh, uh, Roma with Jose Mourinho. When De Rossi came in, he got revenge. He did the double over Milan. So, yeah, I think it just shows how 
Milan really did underperform this season in the Europa League. So yeah, for me, for Milan, I'm putting them as C. I'm putting them as C. Um, and yeah, okay. Let's move to the next one. I think that um, I think we're done with all the quarterfinals now. Let's move to the teams that went out of the round of 16. So let's start with uh, quarterback. Um, they put up a good fight. You know, they came through that Group H with Leverkusen in the group, and then the round 32 defeated Braga, pretty convincing fashion, and then. And then in the round of sixteen, they dip, they uh, lost against ben, uh, lost against Leverkusen quite admir- admirably. So for a quarterback, I'm gonna give them a B. I think they they honestly deserve a B. I was even tempted to go with the A, but I can't go with the A because I feel like actually do I go with the A? But they still they still got thrashed against Leverkusen in the group stage. So yeah, maybe I give them an A. To be fair, maybe I give them an A because they did well. They did well. Yeah, actually, no, I think A is a bit pushing it. Let's put them in B. Let's put them in B. I think B is fair. I'll give, like, a high B-ish. High B-ish. Um, next up, it is uh, Rangers. I think Rangers, for me, they were good. You know, they topped the group with Real Batiste. They did the double for Real Batiste. But then they lost to Benfica. Kind of disappointing fashion. So, for Rangers, I think you got to put them at least a B. I'm just trying to think, where do we put them at B? I think we'll put them... Um, above a quarterback because they defeated Real Betis twice. Twice! The group stage is crazy. Crazy. And they topped the group, which was insane. So, yeah, I think for Rangers, I gotta put them in B. Um, yeah. I think they were good. Uh, next up it is, uh, we got here, it is Sporting. Uh, Sporting Portugal. Uh, Sporting were kind of underwhelming, guys. Yeah, they came second in the group. But the group was a bit too straightforward. And then the, uh, the, the round of 32 defeated. Yeah, they defeated Young Boys. A round of 16, they lost against Atalanta. So, honestly, for Sporty, man, I think I'm going to put them in C. I'll put them in C, honestly. I'll put them in C. I, I don't think they're that amazing. Um, and, yeah, I think they kind of disappointed. So, it, it was average for them, in my opinion. Uh, but they did win the league, though. So, that, that's what matters, to be fair. Uh, Freiburg, I'm going to put them in like a, a B, I suppose. You know, they came second in the group, defeated Lons and uh, come back. And then obviously in the round of 16, they got absolutely smashed by West Ham. So I think they did good. I'm going to put uh, Freiburg in like a B. I think I'll put them below Marseille. And yeah, uh, let's see what's next. So we have 12 teams. we got four more teams to do. So we got next team is Villarreal. Villarreal, they did off the group with Renz and it's and um, the Greek team and Mykaba Haifa, of course. So, and then the round of 32, oh yeah, they topped the group, so they didn't have to play round of 32. And the round of 16, they defeated, they got they got destroyed against Marseille. So, for Villarreal, I think it's like a B, because they did top the group, but ultimately, they weren't really that, gr- they really were bad against Marseille. So, yeah, that's why I can't really put them anything higher than a B. Uh, Brighton, Hove Albion, I thought Brighton were great. You know, they topped the group in one of the most difficult groups ever in Europa League history with Ajax, Marseille, and AK Athens. And then obviously round of 16, though, they got absolutely smashed against Roma. So I think for Brighton, I'm going to put them like a B. I'll put them like um, above Freiburg. But yeah, I mean, that, the way they got destroyed, though, against Roma was just sad. Uh, let's see. So let's see. We got 6, 10, 14. So we got two more. So we got Slavia Praha. They topped the group with Roma in it. So you have to give them that kudos. Um, and then obviously, I think they had Sheriff and I think Servet. And then they uh, obviously got destroyed against Milan. So I think for Slavia Pro, I think a B is fair. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be too critical of their loss against Milan because Milan's a better team than them. So uh, I'll give them a B. I think a B is fair. Uh, and then the last team that went out of the round of sixteen, I believe, is is Spar Paraha. Um, I think that I'll probably give them a B as well. Uh, I think they did great. Um, you know, they obviously came second in the group with Real Batiste and Rangers in it. Defeated Galtas in a stunning comeback. And then, obviously, they got smashed by Liverpool. So, I think a B is probably fair. A B is probably fair for them. Okay. Now, let's move to the teams that went out in the round of 32 now. So, let's start with... Uh, let's start with... Uh, uh, Lawns. Lawns, man. They really blew it. They really did blew it against Freiburg. Because they were almost about to make the comp. They almost... We're about to be 2-0 up away in Germany. But then they bottled it, which was so angry. Which I made me angry, man. It made me so angry. And so, yeah, for me, I'm putting them as C. Uh, Galatas, right, for me, it's probably another C. Um, you know, they won the first leg in late fashion. 
But then the second leg, they got absolutely destroyed. So, yeah, I, I think for God's answer to see. Uh, uh, and then for Feyenoord, I'll probably put them at C as well. Once again, they uh, they got to draw the first leg, second leg, and then a draw. And yeah, Feyenoord, just average, I suppose. Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, another average one, I suppose. Um, you know, I think Feyenoord actually did the best. I'll put Feyenoord the best of these teams uh, because they took two draws. They only lost a pens. Lons, I'll give them, I guess I'll put them second because they took an extra time. Galatasaray, I'll put them above Shakhtar because Shakhtar were just not that great the second leg. And yeah, Young Boys absolutely got dismantled. Against Sporting, and honestly, I think I'm putting, I'm going to attempt, I'm, I'm tending to put D, honestly. They, they were just really poor. Uh, Braga, really disappointing. They, they, they were terrible against quarterback the first leg. Sure, the second leg they won, but it didn't matter um, at the end. So maybe, okay, you know what? I'll put Braga above Young Boys, but yeah, it's a high D ish, man. A very, very disappointing. Um, and the Rens, I'll, I'll put Rens in like a C, I suppose. I thought they did okay against Milan. They lost the first leg pretty badly, but the second leg they actually won, but they weren't able to score enough goals. But yeah, it's the first leg that just did the damage. So, you know, I could put them in C D for that alone, to be fair. But then they came second in the group, though, in the Europa League. So, may, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll put them in C. I'll put them in C. I think C is fair. Uh, what other teams I'm missing? Now they got, I think, uh, what other team? Is that all the teams? I think the rest of the teams went on the group stage. Yeah, I think the rest of the teams went on the group stage. Okay. Okay, so now let's still go with AK Athens. I'll give them, like, a D. Um, I thought they were decent. You know, they got a victory against Brighton, but besides the victory against Brighton, they just weren't that great. I think they got a draw against Marseille, though, if I remember correctly. Let me just quickly double check. Um, AK Athens, they got four points. And a difficult group, to be fair, so maybe a D is a bit harsh, but maybe we'll put them, like, a C, like, a low end C. IX for me. Really did bad in the Europa League, guys. I was Ajax did very disappointing. Honestly, I'm putting Ajax like a D, uh, high D ish. I'll put them like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I think you you know, I'll put them above Young Boys. Um, uh, but yeah, they were just disappointing. Eris Limazo, uh, what is there to say? They got four, you know, actually, to be fair, Eris Limazo did get four points, so may you know what? I'll give them, a, I'll, put, I'll give them a pass. They at least got, I'll put them like a D, I suppose. Uh, Hacken F. Hawken were terrible. I think they were one of the few teams that didn't get any points. Yeah, zero points. Hawken were terrible. Uh, Sheriff, F, really bad. Only one point. Yeah, very bad on six games. Uh, let's see. Uh, what other teams did bad? LESK, uh, they got three points, but that's only one win. So, yeah, I'll put them like a, a D, F, failure. Actually, you know maybe I'll put them like a D. I'll give them a D. I think D is a bit hard. Uh, F is a bit harsh because they did at least get a victory. These two teams, though, didn't get a victory at all. Uh, Mike Kaiba Haifa. Uh, they got five points. So, you know what? I'll probably put like a C potentially. Maybe a D. I think a D is a bit harsh. We'll put them a C. Put them like a low end C ish. Um, actually, I'll put them above A K Athens because they did manage to get third at the end of the day. Molde. Mold. Uh, Molde. I'll put them for like a C, I suppose. I'll put them like they got com they got conference together at least. So Olympiacos, I'll put them like a C because they did well. Um, I'll put Panetta, I'll put Real Betis in like a C. Honestly, I'm putting I'm thinking about putting Real Betis in a D because they should have not got grouped in that group. So yeah, honestly, I'm putting Real Betis in a D. I'm putting Real Betis in a D, honestly. Uh, that was embarrassing. TSC, obviously. Um, I guess I'll put them F. I F is a bit harsh in my opinion though, but we'll still put them F. Let's still put them F. We're still going to put them F. Uh, so, yeah. And then to lose, uh, to lose, I think we'll put them in like. Uh, to lose, we're going to put them in. Where are we going to put them? Oh, they did get second. They did get second. I forgot about to lose, actually. Uh, they put up a good fight against Benfica. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them like a uh, B, honestly. Um, actually, did they do better than Feyenoord? No, nah, I think Feyenoord actually did. But uh, yeah, I'll put them a C, I suppose. Strom guys, um, Strom guys. I think they came bottom, if I remember correctly. No, they actually came third. They came third. They went to the conference league. I remember now. Okay, right, so TSC, uh, Strom guys. Let's see, Strom guys. I'm putting them like a C, I suppose. 
uh, D actually, I'll put them in D. Uh, or actually, maybe I'll put them C because they only did get four points. So yeah, I'll put them. I'll put them D, I guess. Actually, no, I'll put them C. I'll put them C. That's it. Then. Yeah, I'll put them C. I suppose. Rocco, uh, Chedesco. I'll put them in like D. I suppose. Uh, yeah. Then Unes G. I, I'll give like a. I'll give them like a C. Uh, D. Actually, I'll put them a C. And Servat. I'll give like a uh, a C. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, at the Panhead, the night goes, I'll put them, I guess, C, I suppose. So there you have it, man. That's my Europa League. So yeah, most of the clubs, I put them in C. I only have, I have very few clubs I put in F, very, very few clubs. And yeah, and D, I think is fairly fair. So yeah, I know the last couple of ones I kind of ran through because they went out of the group stage. So I didn't really feel like doing much. I didn't really go into much detail, but yeah, there you have it, man. So Hope you guys did enjoy this Europa League tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, please run a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.